What's up guys, how's it going and welcome back to our Palace career mode. Um, obviously we're in pre-season now as uh, you would have seen from uh, last episode. If you did miss that go check it out because we did have the FA Cup final that we did play last episode which was, well, quite an incredible game to say the least. So yeah, go back check that out and then come back and join us for the start of our pre-season ahead of our second season at uh, Crystal Palace. So today we're just going to kind of have a look at just going to go through more players and uh, just see what kind of players we want and if I've got a list of players that I'm interested to sign I might leave it up to you guys and see if any of you guys want to comment down below and uh, say um, if I should or shouldn't maybe sign some of the players that I think I'm going to be interested in. First of all though I want to go to finances and I want to change our budget because we've got 3.2 million wage budget which is incredible so I actually want to change that to uh, about that, so we've got about 18 and a half million to spend, 815,000 wage budget, I think it's more than enough. So let's go to office and you would have seen from last episode that we did get um, inquiries that we didn't actually check out. So Sigerson, would, we would consider a bid in the region of 33 and a half million. That's insane. I mean, he's really nice in this game. I do really like him. And we've also got Jamie Vardy, I think it's 32 million for Claudio Ranieri. Okay, let's actually let's actually go to transfers. Let's actually go to uh, shortlist because they should have gone on to there, I believe. We've also got players that we were looking at from last time still. We've got this Escalante. It's not that quick, but it looks decent for a midfielder. Ten million. Patrick Muka. Uh, one for the future. Twenty-one million for this guy. He's 81 rated and he's 21 years old. He looks very nice. He actually looks incredible. Look at those stats there, all in green. 21 million. We're signing prospects. Uh, we have scouted him. Uh, can we make a bid for him or what's going on here? We can't. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so Gilvy Susan, 27, 82 rated. I mean, I'm more tempted to go for this guy over him, I think. So I think we could probably get less for him. Kevin Lasagna there. Great name. Right, can we go for bot? Okay, we can acquire about him, which we just did. How do we how do we make an offer for him? Can we not make offers because it's not the uh, transfer window? That's is that what it is? We have to wait. Okay, let's get advancing then. That must be it. He actually declined the offer. Okay, where is he? Sidi Kai Kai, where are you, mate? There he is. Because uh, he wants four years, and let's go to 25. Future first in player. I oh, like, no, he probably never will be, but still, so contract accepted, contract accepted, contract accepted, contract accepted. Nice. That's what we like to see. I assume we're going to get more um, objectives. More players are accepting contracts. Scatterport Virgil van Dijk. Fifteen million, eighty-one rated. I mean, we can inquire about all of these. I mean, we've just inquired about it with Jamie Vardy. It's a thirty-something million. Uh, yeah. So th there's no really much point there until we get to the transfer window. Oh, excuse me. Um, player return from low. Johnny Williams, nice contract accepted. Player conversation with Wayne Hennessy. I'm going to turn out that contract section you offered. I appreciate it, but I think I need to change your career. I'm going to move on. Okay, that's fine, Hennessy. We might be after a new keeper then. In fact, well, we're going to need a new keeper then. As um, Hennessy's wanted to move on there. So let's just get this stuff done with. And out of the way. And keep advancing. Virgil van Dijk and Quarry, 27.5 million. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than in real life that apparently is going to be valued at, but. Yeah, we just can't afford that sort of money. Contract like expiring. I mean, yeah, they can all, they're all just going to go then. Um, okay, let's go back. And let's keep going, keep advancing. We need to get to the start of the transfer window, which I believe is July the 1st, if I'm, if I'm correct there. 
Yep, yeah, Hennessy has turned down our contract offer. Got a few scoutings coming though, so if we get players that look where he's yeah, but he's gonna go back to Chelsea soon anyway. Got Paredes. Let's have a look at the scout reports there. 78 rated though. I was thinking I kind of want players that more in the 80 rating mark. 80 rated or up higher, I kind of want to try and push for. I mean he's 77 rated again, so. And this guy. 77 rated again, centre back. Yeah, I'm, I want to push for those 80 rated or oh, higher players. That's what I want to push for. Okay, Hennessy's leaving. I'm not really going to bother reading that message. So yeah, 80 rated and higher players is what I'm aiming for to really push on uh, the club, to push the club forward. So we're going to get all these players progressing. And keep advancing. Keep getting to that jar first. And then we're going to make a few bids for players. This might be a short-ish episode. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, it's been going off about six minutes already. So it's going to be a bit fast-paced. Maybe... Not too much going on in the episode, we're just going to try and get forward. <coughs> and just try and make a few offers for a couple of players. So then we can go back next episode and you guys could tell me if you think I should pursue them players further or not. And uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here, it's sort of frozen a little bit. What's occurred here? Okay, here we go. I honestly don't know what's... I mean, is it what's going on? Okay, here we go, guys. That little cut there, it was taking ages because we've actually got the end of season bit now. So we're actually just going to get a cheeky bit of training in before we do this. So I actually don't know what's happened there because I cannot remember the last time I actually completed a season on FIFA, on the career mode. So let's get to the end of season bit then. Our transfer budget could go up. It could be huge. We don't know. I don't know what happens here. So Henny's agent speaks out. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's, let's do it then. End of season. Crystal Palace board end of season review. Dear Stevens, we're, we've come to the end of the season and the board could not be happy with your performance so far. The players and staff clearly look up to you and you've done an excellent job aligning yourself with the club's vision both on and off the pitch. We'd be, we would be delighted to have you to stay at the club next season. Sincerely, the board of directors. Okay, so we've got to advance then. And the agent has speaked out. Okay, setting up the new season. This may take a couple of minutes, so I will be back in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, we're back, and um, yeah, so that did actually take a couple of minutes, so it wasn't wrong. So we've got to redo the training stuff again, we've got this Community Shield against Arsenal, which I'm not really sure when that is, but we can actually make beers for players now, we're just going to set up the training. We've actually got to add people back to it now. So we definitely need a striker, we definitely need a striker. Oh yeah, we're working this finishing actually. Um... Uh, winger, let's get Anderson in there. Uh, next, we want. I'm actually, going to put this guy in. Um, I actually want to put a few youngsters in. We've got players down here, like Brandt. Midfielders, we've still got Taliso, that's a promising player, so let's put him in. We've got like passing, maybe? Yeah. Let's do three balls there. And last but not least. Uh, we've got Wagner, we've got this guy, 66 rated at 17. Let's put him in. Hang on. There's a 70. Oh, just Williams. My bad. Let's do this guy, close control. Yep. Yeah. And let's simulate them all. And they're going to be our players that we train for a little bit while. <laughs> a little bit while. That made no sense, but, you know, in my head it did. Okay, yes, got an A there for close control, which is nice. Okay, let's actually go to the office there and see what happens. Oh my god, yeah, look at our transfer budget. 35 million. 35 million now. Okay, we've got 35 million. That's nice. I actually kind of want Jamie Vardy, if I'm being honest. I kind of want him. Um, so let's have a look then. Okay, I want to I want to list all these for loan, actually. So I'm going to go do that. We're going to sell Williams and we want to sell Sacco. So we're literally going to have a squad overhaul. So we want a couple of midfielders, a defender, a striker, defender, striker, and a couple of midfielders is what I think we want. So yeah, start commenting below guys, any players that you think we could get. Um, 
Centre back, yes. Oh, Rudiger. Yes, please. Ellis Cobb since 2016. That's okay. Scout him and inquire about him. Not sure how much he's worth. We've got Wallace there. He looks, he looks decent. He looks decent, that Wallace. Uh, Grant Hanley. Uh, no, no, no. I don't think we want any of these guys. Hello, is this guy from Chelsea? It's decent. Okay, I actually don't think we want any of these guys. Chris Moran, I mean, Rafa Varane, Manolos, yeah, all these players would be great, but they all cost <laughs> way too much money that we don't have. Um, and we have to be careful about their wages as well. That's also one. So, yeah. Let's go back. Let's go. We've got defensive mid, first team quality. Who's that? Jeff Jefferson Lerma. I mean, Bad Edge, I know he's a good player. I don't know how much he is now, though. That's contract expiring in 12 months. We're not going to get him a bit cheaper than uh, maybe we thought. This guy actually looks This guy actually looks very decent. Let's scout him. I don't know what rate he is. No idea. Let's definitely give him a scout, though. Diet. Uh, we got Coyote there, Mendy, Sane, Torres there, Lopez, Paredes. Who, I mean, I actually like the look of him. Just 78 rated, that's all. I kind of want to fancy the maybe a player that a little bit harder. Jason McCarthy is actually excellent on this game. He's actually really, really good. So I'm going to give him a scout and inquire about him as well. Although he's 17 million he's worth, so that may not look likely. Um, So yeah, we need to look for a striker. We've got first in quality and a free kick specialist, okay. We've got a uh, Kenner Erkin at left back. That could work. He actually looks insane. He actually looks insane. Let's inquire about him. Got Jose Sosa. He's 32. He's a little bit old, but that means he might, his price may not be too much. So let's inquire and scout up to him. Kazri Sigerson. We know he's going to cost a lot. Uh, we've got Hernanes there. He's actually really nice. He's only 9 million, but he's on 95,000 a week, which means it might put us out of doubt. I mean, Depay, I'll definitely take him, but again, a little bit too much money. Uh, these players are going to cost. What about this guy? I remember, I think it's this guy. I remember used to, he was a beast on foot manager. That's for sure. Um, he looks okay. Don't know how much he is. But, so let's give him a scout and a choir. Um, striker, pacey and prolific. Okay, let's have a look at these. This guy's at Watford. Uh, not this guy. Gabriel Dini. 83 rated, 24 and a half minute. Can't afford him, I'm afraid. Kachunga. I don't know if I've said that right, but Cannon Wilson, definitely Pacey. Marco Sal, definitely Pacey. Andre Han. Uh, Ian Nacho. Freddy Sears. Well, he's a long lost one, isn't he? He's gone missing a bit. Vardy, can we? He's 30, though. Oh, he's worth 32 million. Christ. It's on 75,000 a week. I just... No, I think we're going to go for something different. I just don't think we can get it. What about Andre Angel Correa? How's that something special? Ben Yedder. He's definitely one that would be very nice to have. Pato, Bacanabu, Sturridge, Agro. Carlos Blacker. That Adair is pretty decent as well. He's only worth 11.5 million. Let's scout this Adair. Oh, he's on loan at Enter. But surely... That would come to an end soon. Carlos Bacco can't afford. Where did uh, Ben Yedder go? We don't, we, I, can't, I don't know how much he's worth if we actually approach. Does it say? No, it doesn't. But I've got, it's only 22,000 a week, which I mean could help us out. So let's inquire about Ben Yedder as well. We're not going to make any bids there. We're going to advance, wait for these, try and get these to come back quickly. And then I think we're going to end it there. And then we're going to try and think of some more players that we can maybe go in for next time out. And obviously do a lot of a um, lot of advancing. Just want to get all these back. Probably make bids for a couple of them. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, we accept invites. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm not actually going to play the tournament. I'm actually going to simulate the games because, I mean, it's, there's no point doing it. So let's just go for the toughest game that we can do to get the most money, which is this one in France. And yeah, as I said, I'm not going to play the games. Just I am going to I will simulate them. We've actually got one coming up very, very soon. So I think we're going to get to that one, stop it, and uh, yeah, 
carry on from then. Because the episode is actually going to be a little bit longer than I thought it would be, but that's okay. This is kind of like, I don't know, just randomish sort of videos because, um, yeah, nothing's written too much has gone on in them. Uh, international cart, player returning from loan, okay, players left the club, uh, Kelly's left, okay. Jefferson Mono, 12 and a half million. Okay, we don't actually know how much he's worth, but let's actually bid 7 million for him. Oh wait, hang on, I accidentally bid, I accidentally bid 70 million. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be bidding that. Going to bid 7 million for him. Kenna Erkin, 8.5 million. I know some of these players are maybe a little bit older, but they look very good. So we'll go 4.5 million for him. He's only on 50,000 as well. He actually looks very nice. Angle Career, 35.5 million. Okay, not happening. Okay. We want to be careful with the money. I don't want to go all out and obviously spend it because we actually need kind of players throughout our squad, not just one or two, you know, not just all like one big player. But if we do a transfer with Wilfred Zaha, now here's one that's not going. And to Stoke City, definitely not. I mean, if I could get 50 million for him, yeah, 54 and a half million for him, he can go because we can get a very nice player to replace him, even two for that matter. Rudiger, 13 million. He's actually a player I would actually very, very like in defence. I think he's really, really nice. 8 million. Okay. See, this is the sort of range I want to be going at. About 10, 13 million if they save him. Milan Badic. I actually think, I can't remember what his rating is, but I know he's good. And he's actually only got a year left, which is why they want his value. So let's go down to 8 million. And see if we can get a cheeky deal on this. Because this is what I've learned from FIFA. Sometimes when it says how much they want, I just bid it. But you can actually get them for less. Unless it specifically states it says, we won. If it says, this is what they would consider bidding the region off, go lower. Just try, like, maybe half the price, depending on how much it is, you know. A good bit lower. And you're, sometimes you'll be surprised that um, we're not going to afford McCarthy. He's so good in this game. Um, how much they, um, sometimes you can get price for. And he's 32. I mean, like, I'm actually just going to bid 6.5 million. Hang on. I'm going to bid six and a half million for him uh, to see. He's got a five-year contract though. He's 32. I mean, he's a good player, so I definitely take him as a squad. Eight and a half million there. Player returns from injury. Who is that? Flamini. Okay. I mean, this Coyote. I don't think we're going to be able to get him. We'll put a bit of ten million in for him. And yeah, we'll submit that. But yeah, we're obviously going to have to. Um, we're going to sell a few couple of players as well, which I think I've put them on the transfer list. Let's quickly look. Sell players because some of them came back on loan as well, so I can actually. Uh... So I've got Mandana Dan. Uh... <laughs> transfer list. Punching, oh yeah, he's transfer listed, nice. Williams, transfer list, retiring, loan list, Ledley, uh, transfer list, okay, uh, we'll keep these. Coca, I don't want, transfer list, Sacco's transfer listed, don't know who this is, transfer list, purchase this season, can you go on loan? Yes, he can. Okay, we've got two, the two Bentecas as well. Um, his brother can go. Okay. Okay, we actually got quite a shortage of players, I think, in overall. Let's advance, see if we can get to this first game and simulate it and see what kind of start we get. Oh, no, we're not going to simulate it. We're going to wait for the ne to next episode. So we've had a transfer offer for Toliso. We're just going to go ahead here and reject it. And it's actually from Atletico Madrid, and it's 30 million. We're going to reject that straight off. We're not interested in selling him. He's one of our best players. By a country mile. Play conversations. Fabian Ruth. Give me a chance to play. I'll come match, yeah. Okay. And there we go, guys. Um, we're at the first game of our uh, European International Cup. Um, we've got Stad Vienne, Spartak Moscow, and West Brom <laughs> in our group. Uh, so, Spartak Moscow is the first game on the 5th of July. Um... We're not going to play it now, we're going to wait till next episode and obviously uh, maybe get through the whole of the group stage bit because I'm going to be simulating them, not playing them. 
uh, because obviously really concentrating on the transfers in pre-season and um, it's, as far as I'm concerned it's not that important I mean the extra 8 million could mean an extra player in theory but at the end of the day I'm not too concerned about this um, so yeah so thanks so much for watching guys I know these episodes might not be too enjoyable or um, you know it's interesting as maybe when I'm playing the games and things like that but I mean it's pre-season so we have to go through this and um, you might, you know, it might give you ideas for um, your own career modes when you're going for pre-season like players like I scout and find maybe you may not have ever found them or heard them before I think oh actually they look really decent and you know you might try them out your own teams maybe you just get promoted from, to the Premier League and afford them maybe you're you know like start off with maybe like a not so good team in the Premier League maybe like a whole city or something with players which are a little bit lower rated than uh, the other teams in the Premier League I think oh yeah he would really improve my team so yeah um, so yeah hopefully they hopefully they can help in that way but yeah thanks for watching guys if you if you're enjoying the video and the series then please hit the like button for free to do that and also subscribe to not miss out on any future videos for myself here on the channel and that being said have a great day and i hope to see you next time